This experience, which black Americans were having, did not go unnoticed by the rest of America. Something had started that was beginning to spread, a new kind of pride, identity, and consciousness that was about to turn the mass movements of the 1960s into new and different forms of activism. Now, we fought the public accommodations fight 10 years ago with the blacks. Are we going to have to start all over again with women? About, would you like a sign up there that said blacks only or whites only? It's the same it's principle, the same sir. We are, women are persons. Women yeah, are people. Persons, and we want to be able to come and go through it, and we don't want to be intimidated by signs that say men's buffet. I have no intentions of taking the sign down or changing the sign. If you can get a court order to take it down, fine. You have no intention of no. changing your policy of no. segregated facilities. Is that correct, sir? If you women are that hard up for a, a glass of beer, I'll be glad to serve you to bar. You know, sometimes the events of decades can crystallize in a moment, and it seems as if overnight there's this historic change. When you look back at it, you say, oh, well, this was building up and building up, and for years there was this person and this person and this group, and they were networking and this and this, and then there was a, a shift. Um, the women's movement had many origins. In part, it owes its renewed birth to the civil rights movement, because there was then a lesson for the women of America of how blacks at that time were taking their life into their own hands. Is my bacon ready yet? 20 past 8. Some more toast, team. Hey, team, why don't you get cracking on a thorough fall house cleaning campaign around here? Get the floors waxed, get the windows washed, get this place looking as if civilized people are in residence, hmm? Gee, that's a little light, isn't it? I'm sorry, I hurried it. Sweetie, have a little more damson plum preserves. In 1970, America was still very much a man's world. More women than ever were joining the workforce, but at the same time, they were still expected to be the traditional housewives and mothers of a generation earlier. In some states, women could not obtain credit cards or mortgages without a male cosigner, and nationally, they were paid an average of 59 cents for every dollar a man earned. In short, American women were still second-class citizens. It's hard for a kid growing up now to realize that in 1964, 5, 6, whenever, if a woman sat on a park bench reading a book, chances were she would be interrupted and that the man who came up to her would assume that she would rather talk to him than read the book. If two women were in a restaurant eating together, it was common for a man or a couple of men to come up to them and assume that they were there to be talked to and that they weren't there for any purpose of themselves. It's hard to believe that this happened, because it doesn't, and that really has changed. I mean, there really have been significant changes in our relationships, and, uh, but that was not true in, in the 60s. And so what began to happen in 1970, 71, is that women began to they set up these consciousness raising groups in which they would, for the first time, not be interrupted. 
And everything was talked about, you know, everything from high school to your first menstruation to your first sex to go, you know, everything was talked about. But the principle was that you went around in a circle and no one interrupted you. The biggest change, which is still affecting me, is that I now really like women, and I didn't like women before. Women were not um, usually educated, they were not usually very vital, they were usually passive, so I thought men were cooler. I don't want to see women adopting a lot of the, I think, bad characteristics that are usually right. considered masculine, mm -hmm. such as um, aggressiveness up to the point of fighting. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that you know, we do not want to become that way. But we are in that way. We see men become soft. Women and not fight in a different way. way. They just, they just it was like a flash ignition. It would be like lighting your gas furnace and it would just go boom. And all of a sudden, um, you had insight into things that had happened in the past and you were able to move forward with this insight. It changed your whole context. And it happened in, a, in a, a group with other people who were experiencing the same thing. So you felt validated, you didn't feel crazy anymore, and you knew that uh, really what you were saying and feeling was the truth. And that's when women suddenly understood that their own personal history was significant. And that's where the phrase, the personal is political, came from. And that connection of realizing that the personal is political and therefore justifies political action, uh, was one of the revolutionary ideas of the beginning of the women's movement. A moment in which all this prior organizing exploded was in 1970. It was the women's strike. The theme of it was, don't iron while the strike is hot. And there was a massive demonstration for women's rights. Well, the main demand, of course, is equal, equal rights. Equal rights to have a job, to have respect, to not be viewed as a piece of meat. Equal rights to, uh, to set forth our own humanity. Equal rights to get into graduate programs, to get into schools, to training programs. We're the bottom third of the employment in terms of pay. We represent, nonetheless, 34% of the workforce, yet we're the first to be laid off and the last to be hired. There aren't frivolous demands at all. We just want what men have had all these years. I think we were willing to stand up and get, get slugged, slug it out if necessary to make our point known. Because we share that amongst ourselves, that probably gave us the encouragement to continue on on that path, that we weren't alone. We were all feeling it. I, in particular, felt it. And I made sure that my husband knew I was feeling it. He wasn't, he, he could n no longer expect me to be as his mother was with his father. Because I wasn't going to do that. I wanted more. It didn't make for harmony. But it did make for change.